Rather than arriving by stork, like most babies, I came to my lucky parents riding on the back of a giant white pegasus, who could breathe fire. My mother and father named me J.P. The J and P, of course, stood for Juvenis Peritus, which is Latin for skillful youth. By the age of six months, I had mastered most of the major elements of the Chinese and Japanese languages, having finished all Western languages in my first three weeks out of the womb. By the time I was ten, I had finished high school twice, and was getting kind of bored, so I decided to get a couple hobbies. After some deliberation, I took up Black Belt Taekwondo, amateur broadsword fencing, recoding the entire website of Google, no parachute skydiving, and lightsaber practice. That was just on Wednesdays. When I was 15, I decided to leave my home country of Asgard and tour the mortal world of Earth. In between seeing the pyramids, the Eiffel Tower, the Great Wall of China, and the Statue of Liberty, I spent my downtime beating all the records in the Guinness Book of World Records. Chuck Norris was not happy with me, especially after I figured out how to count to infinity and slam revolving doors. Eventually, I got a job as a secret agent for S.H.I.E.L.D. With my sidekicks Ethan Hunt, Sherlock Holmes, and Batman, we completed the impossible missions of infiltrating and destroying the evil organizations of Oscorp, LexCorp, AIM, Hydra, and Apple. I would tell you more about all that, but it's classified. After my stint with S.H.I.E.L.D., I became an astronaut, having learned plenty about rocket mechanics and navigation from my spy days. Me and co-pilot Solo were the first astronauts to ever travel to the exotic planets of Cybertron, Tatooine, Gallifrey, and Krypton. Only those last two missions didn't go so well. On our way around the universe, we met this guy who kept changing the way he dressed. He wore a regular tie one day, then switched to a bow tie, then decided that no ties were cool. He did have a tie machine, which was pretty cool. I also saw this ship that looked like some kind of gigantic pizza cutter or something. I never introduced myself. Those guys looked weird. Anyway, by the time I returned to Earth, I had blown up the Death Star, killed Smog the Dragon, and built a wood setting into sonic screwdrivers. Yep, I'd say my life has been pretty eventful so far. I'm guessing college will be a piece of cake. Hopefully. Hi, if you like this video, please click like, and subscribe, and watch other videos, and stuff. I'm going to talk as quick as possible because my camera's about to turn off. It's almost out of battery life from this incredibly long video. At least it was long for me to do, not long for you to watch. Thank you for watching, by the way, and stuff. Okay, that is a wrap.